Good morning, YouTube. This is Pam, aka Electric Banderella, coming at you for my weekly weigh in. Um, last week I was 211.8, and this week I am 211.2. That is a 0.6 loss for the week. Um, sort of not happy with that, sort of okay with that. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I am driving to work at the moment. Um, why am I okay with it? Because I had a big loss, um, last week for me, and, um, I usually have a good loss, a stable loss, a good loss, a stable loss in when I'm losing. Um, why am I not happy about it? Uh, I worked my butt off, but if anyone saw, um, Wendy's Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works Facebook post last night. Um, just to sum it up, she kind of said, uh, if you're doing everything right and um, you're doing the work, she never said the rules, she just said doing the work, um, you will, should lose a pound a week. Um, I'm going to say at first, when I saw the Facebook post, I went a little ballistic, I will admit. Um, I'm a Chicago girl and we shoot from the hip and ask questions later. Um, just how we roll. And um, I'm learning to take breath and count and reevaluate the situation before I act. Um, I need to be more action oriented and less reaction oriented. So I'm working on that. So I read the post several times before I responded and I actually slept on it before I responded um, because I tend to agree with Wendy. At first last night I did not. <laughs> I was kind of going off um, about how we're all different and blah 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 blah. But after much thought about it, I can honestly say that each week when you weigh yourself, if you do not self-evaluate, if you're not seeing that number that you expected to see, um, that's a problem. I keep track of my weights. I'm a daily journal. I write in a journal. I've wrote in a journal since I was 17. So I write in a journal daily. Um, better get your feelings out than keep them in. Once they're on paper, they can't um, eat you anymore, basically. Um, drive you to do things that you wouldn't normally do if you were feeling that emotion. So, you know, Monday when I weighed in, put on my weight, date, weight, and then I started to evaluate. Why did I only lose 0.6? What, inch by inch, what did I do? Did it get all my water in? No, there are a few days I didn't. Um, and for when I say get all my water in, I drink more than 64 ounces. I usually get 100 plus. Um, I try to shoot for uh, a gallon a day, which is 128 ounces. Um, there were some days that I wasn't even getting in 100. So was I getting in the recommended 64? Yes. Was I getting in my 100 that I know my body needs because I do drink caffeine? And when you drink caffeine, um, it tends to negate some of the water that you're drinking because caffeine dehydrates you. Um, so I know I have to drink more than the recommended 64. So I knew I wasn't doing that. Um, did any snacks jump into my mouth that shouldn't have? Yes. Um, I had a day where I let someone else's actions rule my food choices. Um, we are having some issues with our new nutritionist at our bariatric center. She is negating everything that our old nutritionist told us. Um, she's telling us we got misinformation, um, which um, some of us who have lost well over 100 pounds um, tend to question. Um, how could that information that we got previously been wrong? Um, so yeah, we got whole issues with her. And she's starting to, um, going to segregate our support group meetings um, 
Bansters can go the first Thursday of the month and Sleeve and Rune Y on the third Thursday of the month or second and fourth, I don't know, whatever. Um, she's segregating it like that and we are uh, pretty much a family at this point in time and none of us took it well and we were reactive um, and by that I mean um, my roommate that I live with is Ruin Y patient. I met her at our bariatric center and our support groups. We are very good friends. Um, we have some of the same personality type. We are both reactive people. We are both emotional eaters. Um, basically I got a text message at work after all this stuff started going down. We all found out about it on uh, their Facebook page. Um, bring home ice cream. So uh, I brought her home no sugar added Edie's ice cream and um, yeah I didn't even go for the no sugar added. I went straight to the Edie's chocolate chip mint. I do the little cups but I didn't do just one. I did three. Um, yeah. Did it help me? No. Did it change anything? No. Do I regret it? Oh hell yeah. Um, so there's number two. Did I get in all my protein? Yes, I never had a problem with that, um, so that wasn't a problem. Did I get in the recommended 210 minutes um, for the week of exercise? 210, yes. I tend to shoot for more, so did I make the recommended? Yes. Did I make my recommended? No, because I know what my body needs, and obviously I didn't give it what it needed. Did I maybe take in too much caffeine? Could be. Um, and those of you who uh, have been following me for a while, and it has been long, so, but I have talked about it before. I have narcolepsy. I take Provigil daily. I have to take Provigil daily because in order to function in the real world, I need to be awake. Plain and simple. Um, we had some insurance issues with my job. We did not have open enrollment until after the first of the year, and um, yeah, it screwed up our insurance. I was out of medication. Um, my doctor who prescribes my medication was out of town, um, so I had a different medication that they had given me before, um, but it makes me sick. Um, I took small doses of it just to be able to function, just to be able to go to work, and get out of bed um, but it wasn't my provigil um, so my whole body was out of whack my sleep cycles were wackadoodle um, so that I know played a huge part of it um, but you know I sat down I wrote it out what do I think it is here's what I think it is here's what I think I have to work on for the next week and the good thing about this is every day is a new day to do better. It's as simple as that. So those people who got all bent out of shape about Wendy's post, and again, how I said I did in the beginning, you need to self-evaluate. That was the whole thing Wendy was getting to. Um, I think often in this journey, we get so enmeshed in other people's journeys. Um... At least I know I do. I'm very passionate about lap band surgery and how to be a success and to be a success. And no, I'm not even at goal. Um, but I do the work. And a lot of the work is mental. Some of it is physical. Um, you got to be able to do the work. And you have to be, if you can't be honest to anyone else, God for, just be honest with your damn self. So many times, and I'm sure Wendy gets messages, as do other people, of, I did blah, blah, blah this week, and I didn't lose anything. But then when you start talking to these people and pulling anything out about, well, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do did this? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, well, maybe it was that, uh, you know, king-size Twix bar I had. Maybe that's what did it. Come on, people. Let's be real. If... If you're going to get anywhere in this journey, you have to be honest with yourself. I don't care if you go on YouTube and Facebook and you bullshit your way through your journey. I don't care. 
But if you're not truthful to yourself, the only person you're failing is yourself. Um, you know? Another thing. Are you following up with your surgeon? I've seen uh, quite a few posts on Facebook in the last week. In my Lap Band Divas page alone. Well, I haven't had a fill in a year, and I haven't seen my doctor. He canceled my appointment, and, well, now it's a year, and I haven't had a fill in six months. Really? Really? You're waiting for your doctor to call you and say, hey, come and see me. Really? Come on. When you have lap band surgery, you need to see your doctor every six to eight weeks for a follow-up. Doesn't mean you have to get a damn fill every six to eight weeks, but you need to follow up because if you're not losing weight, there could be something wrong with your band, not just you're eating wrong. Odds are you're probably eating slider foods to get through your band, but that's beside the point. And the same thing with unfills. My God, people. Three weeks. Oh, I got a fill three weeks ago, and oh, I just haven't been able to keep anything down. I guess it's time I call the doctor. Really? Time to call the doctor was when you couldn't eat anything a long time ago. Just do it. You know, this was supposed to be about my, my update for uh, how much I weighed, and I kind of went off on a tangent here. So, yeah. Um, that is... All I have to say on this subject. So, if you saw Wendy's post and you agree with it, great. If you saw Wendy's post and you don't agree with it, well, I think you need to do some more self-evaluation. Um, if you didn't see Wendy's post, check out Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works on Facebook. And um, you can read it and respond however the hell you see fit. Um, so... That's me signing off from St. Louis, and I hope everybody has a great day and an awesome weekend. Bye.